I came here to start a food revolution that I so profoundly believe in. We need it. The time is now. We're in a tipping point moment. I've been doing this for seven years. I've been trying in America for seven years. Now is the time when it's ripe. Let's start with the main street. Fast food has taken over the whole country. We know that. Uh, the big brands are some of the most important powers, powerful powers in this country. <sighs> Supermarkets as well. Big companies. Big companies. Uh, you know, 30 years ago, most of the food was largely local and largely fresh. Now, it's largely processed and full of all sorts of additives, extra ingredients, and you know the rest of the story. Portion size is obviously a massive, massive problem. Labelling is a massive problem. The labelling in this country is a disgrace. Where else do you shop so religiously? Week in, week out. How much money do you spend in your life in a supermarket? Love them. They just sell us what we want. All right. So these guys are going to be part of the solution. But we need to get the government to work with all of the fast food purveyors and the restaurant industry and over a five, six, seven year period wean us off the extreme amounts of fat, sugar, fat and all the other non-food ingredients. My wish is for you to help a strong, sustainable movement to educate every child about food. My name is Jamie Oliver, I'm 34 years old, I'm from Essex in England and uh, for the last seven years I've worked fairly tirelessly to um, save lives in my own way. I'm not a doctor. I'm a chef. Can I please just see a raise of hands for... How many of you have, have children in this room today? Please put your hands up. I want to talk about something so basic as milk. Every kid has a right to milk at school. Okay? Your kids will be having milk at school. Breakfast and lunch. They'll be having two bottles, okay? And, and most kids do. But milk ain't good enough anymore because someone at the milk board, now don't get me wrong, I support milk, right? But someone at the milk board probably paid a lot of money for some geezer to work out that if you put loads of flavorings and colorings and sugar in milk, right, more kids will drink it. Yeah. You know, and, uh, for me, there ain't no need to flavor the milk. Let me just show you. We've got one kid here having, you know, eight tablespoons of sugar a day. You know? There's a week. There's a month. And I took the liberty of putting in just the five years of elementary school sugar. Just for milk. There are angels around America doing great things. 